Barry and Tony, so you, you both started... Mm -hmm. Nice in, to see you. Lovely to see you. Much more humble, humble beginnings for you both. Tony, you made your money from a New Jersey company which tests consumer products. Barry, you ran an LA-based British surrogacy centre. But it was... You met in Manchester, didn't you? By, by a petrol pump, am I right? Yeah, actually, my um, car broke down in 1987. Tony was on his way to collect his new Scientist of the Year award and we met in a petrol station while I was asking um, them to help me and he was asking for directions. So before you knew it, he was giving me a lift to where I needed to go and I was giving him the directions he needed. So oh. I'm still Barry from the block. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, um, when, you, when you got into the relationship, things got much more serious and you thought, actually, here we go, you know, this is, this is actually going to work out for us. Um, at, at what point did you start thinking about children? I think we'd been together for about 10 years and, you know, it was um, the mid-90s and in those days, same-sex couples just couldn't even make an application as a couple to local social services and I'm a social worker and I found it um, really weird that I was able to go in and take somebody's children away from an abusive um, situation and put them in foster care. But and I was allowed to do that, and I was okay to do that, but I wasn't allowed with my partner to go through social services procedures and actually adopt or foster. Mm -hmm. So we started looking for an alternative route, and then we ended up going to Beverly Hills. We found an agency there who helped us have our first set of twins, and now we have five children in total. Yes, you do. Well, you've got Saffron, who's sat there with you now, and Aspen, both those 18. You've got Orlando, who's 14, and Jasper and Dallas, who are seven, eight in a few weeks' time. Um, so, so life for you now, you're currently, as we just said, in Tampa. This is your holiday, it's sort of your winter home, if you like. And Saffron, tell us, the allowance that you get is, is staggering, Saffron. Yeah, it is. But um, from February, um, I'm not actually having that allowance anymore because I've set up my own... Um, company Barking Mad Cosmetics and um, we have our products sell for $65 and we sold a hundred thousand of them in six days. They sold out completely in Europe. Okay, so well we won't, we won't, we won't do too we won't, million we, back. That's brilliant. We won't do too much of the ads, but uh, but I mean so that so that's the that's the uh, allowance is is cut because of the um, uh, the success, which is marvellous. There, uh, some of the some of the figures um, are, are just fabulous. I mean, every girl's dream, uh, spectacular, four hundred thousand pound. Fabergé ring, the Henry Winston diamond ring worth £175,000, which you were given when you were, you were eight. Uh, about 250 grand's worth of bling yeah. you wear, Rolex watches and all that sort of stuff, which is lovely. And you know, if you can afford those things, it's absolutely marvellous. Aren't you ever worried that someone's, you know, someone's going to snatch them off you? Not really, to be honest. I've never really thought of that, to be honest. And, you know, she doesn't put herself in that kind of situation. And she gets recognized a lot now because she does a lot of magazine and a lot of tv stuff just like you know you guys do but I know you guys are, are obviously on a bigger scale but she gets noticed in malls and all that kind of stuff and people come up to her but as a rule they're generally quite nice aren't they yeah but i think it's where you put you it's where you put yourself as well isn't it if you're at a nice event or whatever you yeah. probably don't really get your ring stolen so and um, and so obviously the, uh, the the fact is that uh, as we said, Saffron has your access to your credit cards. Uh, there is the allowance uh, for the, for the moment. Money is no object. She can have whatever she wants. Saffron, are you spoiled? People think I'm spoiled, <laughs> but over the years I have been spoiled. But I'm really appreciative for everything I've ever had and still get. I um, I really appreciate more than people think. You talk about that credit card. I have an app on my phone, and every time it's used, it pings up like a push notification. I get about 30 of them a day, and it'll be like, Harrods, £50,000. Somewhere else, Selfridges, £2,000. And it goes on and on and on. It's but like, Saffron, 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 all the way down. Cause that's, cause as, like, dads, <laughs> as, as dads, as uh, you, know, you, you say that, and once again, you know, reiterate, if you've, if you've got the money, it's entirely up to you how, how you spend it, how you let, uh, let the kids spend it. But, but, but coming from the background that you have, do you think that your children, I know they all have the same sort of access, understand the value of money? Yeah. And, you know, that's a really good question because that's the main thing, the Daily Mail and all the rest of them, you know, and all those haters who comment on those stories in the Daily Mail, they all say the same thing. Oh, can't wait to see how these kids grow up and these kids are going to be this, that and the other. But, you know, she owns her own company. She's working 18 hours a day. She, she turns over millions of dollars a month in her own right. So 
Yes, I think she understands the value of money, and so do all of the kids. It's the way you bring up your kids. Like I said before, we are still Barry and Tony from the block, and a lot of our family and friends still live there. So our kids appreciate what they've got, but they also can appreciate when they go and visit their cousins back on the council estate in Longsay that they have to bring it down a notch or two, and that's exactly what they do. So they are really grounded. We'll see how they turn out. Just, just for this interview today, if, you know, we're five hours behind you guys. So we came on at 6.30. Staff's been up since 3 a.m. our time. Getting the makeup on, getting ready for the show and what have you this morning. That's the commitment that she's got. Well, as well. and you're going to be opening up your doors to, to a lot more people uh, looking into your life because there's a reality TV show as well coming our way. <laughs> um, we're, we're, we are in the process of filming a reality show with a major Hollywood studio yeah. right now. Amazing. Yeah. We'll, look, we'll, we'll look forward to seeing Lots it. Thank you, uh, thank you for getting up so <laughs> early for us. Yes, thank you. <laughs>